Good morning. It's 11.38 a.m. on Sunday, August 9th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. I slept in a lot, and I needed it, and I am happy that I did. Although, certainly, any day when you sleep in almost half the day, it's like, oh, but now I have less of the day. Today is going to be, at least to some extent, a work day, too. Uh, I have cleaning to do. Um, I'm going to try to get vacuum. I don't vacuum as often as I should, but that's largely because uh, Luna doesn't like it, and so there's just that extra pressure of, like, do you really need to get out the vacuum right now? Luna would rather I didn't. Um, but, you know, it still needs to be done, and i got to do some laundry and so on and so forth. Cleaning is such a chore, literally. Um, I finally got my Windows 10 update last night, and so I did that, but I haven't really had very much time to play around with it too much. It was doing its update thing near the end of the day already. There's a couple of things that were a little bit um, awkward, like uh, one is that uh, it's making me sign in now when Windows boots up, and I don't want to do that. I want it to just boot up. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a way to fix that, uh, so that's no big deal. It didn't make it super easy for me to uh, update my graphics card driver. It uh, defaulted to a really generic low-resolution display, uh, 1024 by 768, I think. But I was, you know, I'm used to having my dex desktop be much higher than that. And um, with everything a little bit hidden, I couldn't find my graphics card program to uh, tell it to update the driver. And so I literally had to go online and re-download the program that I know I had already just so that I could find where to run it from. Luna! Ugh. Okay. Luna is uh, agitated because uh, this is her itchy season. She's actually been doing a lot better with her allergies since we've been living in this current location with no carpets. Uh, but uh, better is not cured. So uh, she's been itchy and kind of just needy and agitated, a little bit irritable. Not in any extreme way because she's still a good-natured little dog, but... Uh, Enough so, I notice, who's, uh, you know, spend so much time with her every day. Um, so I'm thinking uh, the vacuuming obviously will help. Uh, and then uh, maybe a bath for her today as well. Um, and I'm also going to maybe head to the store to see if they have in stock the <clears throat> antihistamine that I sometimes give her when she needs it. So, <clears throat> oh, goodness. Mm, mm. Um, yesterday we had, um, second to last rehearsal before the show, uh, for my, my buy out or get out improv group. Um, that went, you know, I, I, I'm excited for that to actually, uh, proceed. Uh, I also finished playing Metal Gear 2 for the, you know, originally developed for the MSX computer. So this was developed in the NES era. Uh, which is an, it's exciting to sort of fill in that gap in the Metal Gear history for me, because all of the different games span this whole different whole saga, and uh, it's really great. I you know I uh, was impressed by how much like Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Two was. The perspective obviously is not three D, and it, it's you know it's. 2D, you know, top down, uh, but uh, a lot of the mechanics are, are in there, more so than <clears throat> you typically expect with NES era games. Um, and I liked it, and I liked filling in that piece of the story. Uh, that said, some of those games really don't age well in the sense that you pretty much have to play it with a guide because some of the things that you have to do in that game, it's like, how would you? ever, ever 
figure out to do that. Um, because I think some of them are beyond obtuse. So uh, it was the right decision that I just decided from the get-go that I was going to play them with a walkthrough. Because it was mostly the story and the experience of it that I wanted and not the challenge. So in any case, uh, I had fun uh, playing it, and I'm glad that I did. And I think any of you uh, Metal Gear Solid fans out there, maybe uh, it would be good to give those uh, those two a chance. Um, and if you have the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, you get both of those games available for free as part of the extras menu in Metal Gear Solid 3. Now, the only Metal Gear game that I haven't played um, other than the new one that's not out yet, is Metal Gear Solid Revengeance, or Metal Gear Revengeance. It's one uh, where the gameplay is all different. It's all about slashy, slashy sword stuff with Raiden. But my understanding is that the story is still a chunk in there, and so I feel like maybe I want to play it for that. But I haven't fully decided yet. I don't own that one. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I also, of course, have lots of other games to play. And that's not even including replaying the Metal Gear Solid games. I still have Witcher 2. I still have to finish Far Cry 4. I have Shadow of Mordor. Uh, what else? What else? Um, lots. And that's not to mention the fact that, uh, you know, I'm playing more of Destiny and Fallout 4 is coming. And then, of course, Metal Gear Solid 5 is coming. So, lots of stuff to do. And in order to do it, I'm going to call it a halt to the video for now. But I will talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.